guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new modded series. This is FTB Horizons 3. If you are unfamiliar with the Horizons series of mod packs, basically they are mod packs from the FTB team that essentially are meant to showcase and highlight and include kind of lesser known mods or mods that you wouldn't see in every mod pack that the FTB team makes. Uh, and as a result, there's a lot of mods in this pack that I have either never played around with before or have played around with very, very little, and I'm very excited for that. Uh, so a lot of the mods that you would, um, normally just assume would be in a mod pack, things like Tinker's Construct, Ender.io, Applied Energistics 2, uh, stuff, extra utilities too, for that matter, a lot of that kind of stuff, not in this mod pack. That means we're going to be forced to play with mods that we've never played with before and maybe do some things differently than we usually do. I know, the horror, it's gonna be terrifying, be afraid. That was a, a really dangerous jump and I probably shouldn't have done that. But no, in all seriousness, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. There are some mods in this pack that you guys will recognize, things that were put in just to kind of, uh, kind of round out the mod pack, so to speak. Things like thermal expansion dynamics and foundation. Uh, things like, uh, Astral Sorcery is in here. That's one that you guys have probably seen before. Um, Chisels and Bits, Chisel, all sorts of stuff. There's uh, there's some stuff in this mod pack that you guys will recognize. It's not all going to be completely unfamiliar to you. And apparently there's a forest fire. Ooh, and free iron right off the bat. Hello, don't mind if I do. I'll take some of that. Let's make ourselves a wooden pick like so. We'll go up. Uh, one, two, and three. And then we'll make ourselves a stone pick. And then we can get all this lovely iron that's just is sitting right here waiting for us to take it. I'm very happy for this. Um, Yeah, so uh, there's also some interesting new dimensions in this mod pack. There's one called Lost Cities that's like all these old abandoned rune cities and you can find all sorts of cool treasure and uh, there's different ways of doing tools and power and all sorts of things. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it quite a lot. Um, but the first thing we have to do is the same thing you do at the beginning of pretty much every Minecraft Let's Play, and that is, uh, get geared up. Get basic tools, get basic armor, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to kind of gather some stone, um, gather some resources. We do need to find some, uh, some food. <laughs> That's kind of important. Uh, and some sheep actually would be pretty nice if we could find some of those so we can make a bed. That would be lovely. We're at 10. I'd like to get to like 20 cobblestone or so. Let's just kind of clear a little bit of this. There we go. What are we at? 18? A little bit more. There we go. That should be enough. And then temporarily, let's go and make ourselves. Actually... Yeah, let's just make ourselves a stone hatchet and a stone sword. I don't think I'm going to need the shovel right this second. And since we just found a bunch of iron, it's quite possible that by the time uh, I actually do need a proper shovel, uh, we may already have all the iron that we need. So let's uh, let's head off and explore a little bit. I want to find food. We need to find ourselves some mobs. Oh, there's a little bit of food right there. These berries are cheap. And I want to get some leather from these cows because I can use it to make a backpack. Come here, cow. It, hey, quit running away. There you go. You're dead. And uh, you're also dead. That's three leather. We're getting closer. But we're not there yet. Three leather still. But we did get some uh, beef out of that. So hopefully we can cook that up and turn it into a decent food source for us here in the beginning. You're also dead. Still only three leather? Really? I'm kind of surprised. Still three leather. It's like the game doesn't want me to find leather. Hey, come back, you. There you go. Ha, ah, we're up to six leather. And now we need to kill some. I mean, at this point, I have no food whatsoever. So any food we can get from any source is uh, very valuable for us here in the beginning. But sheep, sheep are something we definitely need to find sooner rather than later because it is going to be night fairly soon and uh, I would really like to be able to sleep through it until I'm able to get some armor, you know, and get properly geared up here. So we're going to murder some pigs. Hey, quit running. There you go. Uh, do we need chicken? I mean, we don't really need feathers and stuff just yet. 
Let's just stick with the, ooh, soul gem. Interesting. I don't even know what that's from, but it's from some mod or another. And I still see no sheep. Uh, let's head off and kind of do our thing. Now, I should probably mention, uh, if you are interested in playing along, I'm playing with the world type Biomes of Plenty, and the seed is right there. So if you want to play along, you can pause the video. That's the seed, world type Biomes of Plenty. I'll also put a link to it in the description. Uh, and if I forget, please remind me, because I'm kind of notoriously bad at remembering that sort of thing. Uh, but we now have enough wool to make a bed. Good. This is, is so far so good. We've we've gotten all the essentials. We got some food. We got some wood. We got uh, enough wool to make a bed. I think we're we're getting to where we need to be. So tell you what, guys, I'm going to make a bed. I'm going to do some exploring and try to find a, kind of a good area to set up camp, so to speak, an area that I like and that inspires me. And I'll be back with you in just a bit. All right, guys, I am back. We found kind of a plains area over here. And more importantly, hello, potatoes and carrots. Uh, yes, don't mind if I do. That's going to be a decent food source for us, like right off the bat. Not too shabby. Um, oh, that, that was that was falling. Uh, don't do that, self. That appears to be a redwood forest over there. That's pretty cool. And then there's this structure here as well. I think this might be evil craft yeah yeah but sometimes sometimes there are chests on these however doesn't look like that's the case this time around so no free stuff oh well we did manage to find ourselves uh, some potatoes and carrots free of charge that's not too bad i kind of like the idea of building over here actually um what should i get rid of let's get rid of this stick so i can grab all these berries because there's a ton of them. You can just right-click them like so. There we go. And then I think... There's kind of a nice area right over there. That might be a good spot to kind of get started. Like right in this uh, little... Oh, and there's actually... Oh, that's not a cave. Never mind. But I did see a bunch of coal in there. So that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah, this could be good. Um, like right in this little plains area. It's nice and flat. They build like a little prairie house. I kind of like it. And there's uh, cows and stuff around too. So tell you what, I'm going to start uh, kind of digging some things out and all that kind of good stuff. Um, I think... Whoa, the lag spike there, that's fine. We can also maybe peek under this because I think there's a... Uh... Is it under the pillars? I thought under these there were... Oh, there's one. Yeah, there we go. So we got some iron ingots and some bones. This is from Astral Sorcery. So it's just that one chest that actually has stuff underneath it, but useful stuff nonetheless. The bones, actually all of this is fairly good. Um, tell you what, let me go back to kind of over here and let me start getting a little bit of like a, a, a area laid out. We want to get rid of some of the grass and put down a couple chests, throw down a bed, throw down our crafting bench, throw down a furnace, probably make ourselves another chest, probably a double chest, honestly. Uh, in fact, let's use this ugly birch wood to do that instead, so I'm not wasting my useful oak wood. We'll toss all that in here. There we go. Now we actually have a little bit of stuff going on. So then I need to go chop down some trees, get some materials ready so we can actually make uh, a proper little house, just a little simple starter house. And I've got some ideas for it. There's a, in, in this pack, oh, we memorized a drawing. Uh, in this pack, there is a mod called Astral Sorcery. Uh, there's also a mod, but why did I even mention Astral Sorcery? It's because we just went over there and looked at Astral Sorcery. Completely unrelated to the thought that I'm trying to complete right now. Uh, but there's a mod in this pack called Roots 2. And I played around with Roots 1, but never with Roots 2. And in that, there is Thatch. And this is actually kind of a cool block for a roof. It is, however, a little tricky to make. You need straw. And straw is grass. Basically, grass clippings that are put into a furnace. I'd like to do my roof out of thatch, if at all possible, although I don't think 
it comes with slabs and stairs? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, no slabs and stairs. We do, however, have chisels and bits. So we may be able to do it with chisels and bits. We'll have to see. Um, either way, let me get some stuff together. I think I'm probably just going to make like, uh, I'll just dig down and make a real simple little mine right here so we can, uh, I can mine for some iron and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and we'll kind of get started here. Let me, I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do. Let me get some work done and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. Bit of a progress update for you. I've got a little bit of like a starter house foundation sort of uh, laid out here. This is going to be kind of the shape of the house. Um, in here, I've got a chest of various stuff. I've gathered a fair amount of wood. Um, down there, we'll, we'll head down to the mines in just a second. There's really not much to look at, but I really could use a second type of wood that isn't birch because birch is ugly. Uh, and redwood isn't really the color I want either, although actually the redwood might work. Maybe. Hmm. I wonder how that would blend with oak. Maybe we'll go and grab some of that in a minute. But I was kind of heading off in this direction to look for some stuff, and there's a couple of these little thatch houses right here. And these are from Roots 2. This is the thatch. And... That is the thatch block, and in here, there are books and saplings and stuff. So, uh, not too shabby. Free materials, uh, I believe. Um, doesn't say any tool for these. I guess you just have to mine them by hand, or maybe like a shears would work a little bit better. I'm not really sure. Uh, but I want to get all the, th all, all the thatch roof uh, blocks from those. I'm also interested in checking out this one. I don't know if they're all the same or if they're a little bit different. Let's just see. Uh, go away. Grass block. Pestles. Okay, so this is some new stuff. There's these stone, uh, these uh, wooden tools, which don't really do me any good. And then some more books, which we already have. Okay, well, fair enough. Tell you what. Let's grab the chests. Ooh, and there's a mortar right there. Okay, so that's actually going to come in handy. Uh, I would like this, please. Thank you. So now we have a mortar and pestle. I don't know what those are actually used for in this mod pack, but I'm excited to find out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and gather some more of this. Ooh, this might actually be a thing, too. Is this a dungeon? Actually, it looks like there's a little bit of a cave system here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I want to explore that later because that's going to be a good way to get some kind of early game uh, resources. I, I think it's a lot more, uh, a lot better than branch mining when you're just looking for things like uh, iron and stuff like that. Uh, but over here, we've got a thatch roof and then we have another little thing over here with a bunch of treasure and stuff in it. So that's also awesome. Look at all this free stuff. I'm, I'm so happy about this. Um, a lot of these flowers and things we don't really need right now. I'm certainly going to take the iron sword. Oh, we got gold. That's actually super important, believe it or not, because I need it to make a backpack. We'll take that sword as well. And there's even more stuff. All this leather and gold and uh, there's so much good stuff here. And it's all just free. It's just mine for the taking. I don't need the birch wood. Um, okay, cool. So, how does one get out of here? I guess this way? Can I jump on top of that? Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Okay, so... I think what I'm gonna do... I wanna grab a little bit of this redwood. Uh, what can I toss? That wooden shovel, I don't need that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this redwood just to see what color are the planks kind of the same color as the wood. This might work for a roof. I don't know. Or for a... I, I really think I need two types of wood, at least, uh, for colors. Otherwise, it's just not going to look good. It'll, it'll just look very bland and very boring. Um, so I think it's very important to use multiple colors here, but we need to head back so I can see how this looks next to the oak wood. Because they might go well together, and they also might not go so well together. They might look garbage together. Uh, we'll have to see. But I can make a backpack, too. 
So that is going to make my life a million times easier. In fact, I think I actually have enough materials here to make two backpacks. So that's awesome. Uh, here we go. Over here is my little house. And first of all, let's... Uh, wow, I need more chest space. Um, let's just toss everything we can toss into here. Yeah, there we go. And then let's grab enough of this to make another double chest, like so. Oh, I actually had, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I, I had a bunch of chests in my inventory, didn't even realize it. Okay, so grab this. Uh, we'll grab, uh, what colors do we want our backpacks to be? How about red and blue? Sure, that'll be fine. We'll do that, make two golden pressure plates, grab some leather, and then there's one and two. So we now have two backpacks and we can use them uh, for whatever we want. They're, they work pretty much exactly like you would expect. Put them in your hand, click, and it opens up this and it holds basically the equivalent of one regular chest worth of stuff. So that's pretty awesome. Um, now, let's see. How does this redwood look next to the oak? Uh, it's okay. How does the redwood... Maybe what we'll do... Maybe I'll end up building the whole house out of redwood. And then doing thatch and redwood? Those go together fairly well. This might look a little weird, but... I kind of want to try it and see. If I'm going to do that, though, I'm going to need a much better way to get thatch than just mining those little bits out, because I'll need a lot more of it than what's over there. And I have uh, sheared up a fair amount of grass that we can cook, but I really don't want to waste uh, my cooking on that. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's head down real quick and uh, actually, before I do, let's put that stuff away, because I don't need that. Uh, I do, however, want to take you, you, and you with me so that I can make more stuff. I got a water bucket. Yeah, 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 we're good. Okay, so down here, this is the mines. Very, very simple, nothing fancy. Just a ladder that goes down, torches every seven blocks or so, and then eventually it comes out down here. I mined... Uh, maybe like nine blocks or so. I started digging out like a little five wide room, right? I mined like nine blocks and I already found diamonds. Look at that. Talk about some luck, my friends. Talk about some luck. Good stuff. Also, because uh, I'm sure there are going to be some here who are going to ask, this is the coordinates for where we're actually at in the world right now. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, but anyway... I have a lot more to do. I need to do some more mining. I need to do some more resource gathering. Oh, oh, that mod is in the pack. Wow, that was quite the uh, the jump there. I'm not sure what I just did to trigger that. Maybe I hit space while on a ladder. Is that? It appears that way. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to work. I'll be back with you with another progress update in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. I've done some grinding. The house, it looks okay. I'm not really in love with it, to be honest. I think it's the redwood. I like the thatch. I like the roof just fine. But the redwood just, ugh, it's just not a good color. Uh, so we're going to have to swap that out for something when we actually have access to other types of wood. Uh, but for now, it's going to have to do. So um, I'm smelting up some stuff that I gathered while mining. And it, it's kind of tedious to be swapping things in and out. So I think I want to start off by making a fairly simple auto smelter system here. Uh, so what we should do is make a steam dynamo, I think. And it's not too hard to make. We're just going to need some copper, some iron, uh, and some of these other various little resources and materials and stuff uh grab a little bit of glass as well there we go so first things first we need two copper gears and then we need a redstone transmission coil which is redstone and silver 
And there we go. We have ourselves a nice, simple steam dynamo. I think this thing is probably going to get moved. Um, let's put the bed right here underneath the stairs. Why not? Sure. Uh, so we've made that. And then next, I think I want to make a redstone furnace. Ooh, I didn't realize that that needed brick, though. I don't suppose there's any clay hiding over here, is there? Nope, not there. That could be problematic, except there's some clay right here. We've done it. We are the masters of Minecraft. <laughs> okay. So it's not uh, super terrible like I was initially worried about. Good, good, good. Uh, so let's just go separate eight of those, grab one coal, and uh, toss that in here like so, so that can start smelting up. Okay, uh, so we're going to need this. We also uh, are going to need a couple more of these copper gears, two more of those, and actually, oh, no, we're not quite out of copper. Never mind. We've got more than I thought we did. Grab some of that, and then basically, we're going to need to make one of these machine frames. And this is tin and iron, and then glass and uh, iron as well. So that's the machine frame, and then we're just waiting on the bricks so we can make these. Let's also just take a look, because ore doubling would be amazing. Um, I think we can make all of this. I don't think I've got the gravel right now, but... That's not super hard to come by. So we can do one of those. Make a second machine frame. Make a second redstone transmission coil and then the gravel. And we can we can make flint in this mod pack. Okay. So we just got to find a little bit of gravel. Uh and there's a little bit of gravel right here. Look at that. How nice. Why thank you for being present. I will take your two flint. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, um, let's grab this. Let's grab that. We need to make ourselves one piston. And then we can make ourselves a basic pulverizer. And we can take these bricks and make ourselves a basic redstone furnace right down here. Lovely. So. If we put these guys down um, here and here, and then we grab a couple of chests and go one, two, three, like so. In fact, let's uh, let's actually scoot this whole thing over one block because I may want to make a second steam dynamo. Um, furnace, pulverizer, chest, chest, chest. Okay, good. So we'll do that, and then we also need some flux ducts, and I think the we're going to have to go with the basic ones for now, so I need just a little bit of lead. Two of those, what'll that make, eight? That'll make six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be just enough. Good, 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 good. So I think we're in good shape. I think we'll be able to do this. Um, now, the steam dynamo basically generates power if it has water and solid fuel. It'll start generating water. Now, at the moment, I don't really have a good way to create infinite amount of water or infinite amounts of water. So I do have to kind of manually refill it. I think it holds four buckets of water off the top of my head, something along those lines. But we'll get a lot more value uh, out of one piece of coal uh, in a steam dynamo than we will if it were to be uh, just put into a red uh, into a regular old furnace. So that's kind of the idea here. Uh, let's go ahead and make some of these leadstone flux ducts like so, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that'll hook these up. We do need to configure these. So we want auto input from that side and output both to this side. And then this one, auto input again, and like so. So basically, anything that goes in here will go into the pulverizer first, go into this chest, get sucked into this furnace to be smelted, and sent over here. That's uh, essentially the whole idea in a nutshell. Um, so, for example, if we take this lead ore, toss it in here, 
It'll get sucked into the pulverizer, which will take a little while to process it, but it'll turn it into lead dust. And then once the lead dust is done, it'll get sent into this chest, sent in here, and each one of these will get smelted into two ingots. So basically, we've got our basic ore doubling up and running. Uh, we can throw our aluminum and all this other kind of stuff over here. And that means that we really don't need these furnaces anymore. The other nice thing is we don't have to just use it for ore doubling. Uh, we can also use it for just about anything else that would uh, be cooked up in a regular furnace. So for example, uh, is it this chest? Yeah, here I have this uh, this raw mutton. If I want to cook that up, I can just toss that in here and it will get turned into cooked mutton. And I don't have to worry about, you know, wasting resources uh, by, you know, not doing uh, multiples of eight. So if I cook up four mutton, I'm not wasting half a piece of coal. Uh, what I really should do is make a, a battery or an energy cell of some sort to store extra energy. Uh, but we can worry about that at a later time. Because unfortunately, guys, I am out of time for this first episode. My friends, if you enjoyed the video and if you're excited for this series, you know what to do. Links in the description below. So check that out as well, including a link to the full playlist and to the mod pack and all that other kind of stuff. Other than that, go, uh, <laughs> words are hard. Other than that, my friends, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.